If you're cruising down an American highway, you're likely to notice that the way we move ourselves and our things is changing. Hybrid cars are everywhere, and curious-looking mass-market electric cars are becoming a more common sight, as are the sleek, envy-inducing silhouettes of passing Teslas. It seems as if ride-hailing and ride-sharing cars are everywhere, leading some younger people to wonder if they'll even need to own a car in the future. But even though we're on the go, there's one place we're heading to less and less, the store. We're buying online and getting our packages delivered to us seven days a week, sometimes even to the trunks of our cars. It's all a vision of efficiency and convenience, but unless we rethink the whole of our transportation system, we're headed for a transit nightmare, not a utopia. All the feel-good technological progress masks some crushing problems. Consider these stats assembled by the World Economic Forum. Traffic on U.S. roadways can cost the U.S. economy $2.8 trillion by 2030, and 7% of that traffic in urban areas is made up of delivery vehicles. Somewhere around a billion people worldwide do not have access to a road that can be used in all weather, and global infrastructure spending is $1 trillion behind current needs. Megacities are already traffic-choked, and the number of people who live in them is rising inexorably. Some answers might be found in a bold new idea, called the Seamless Integrated Mobility System, or SIM system, advanced by the World Economic Forum. It's a new way of thinking about global transportation. It treats the movement of people and goods like a linked, interoperable network, rather than disconnected local systems. And thanks to chemistry, pieces of the SIM system are already in place, with more to follow in the years to come. In a SIM system world, a traveler would set up a journey with the SIM system, which would then coordinate the whole trip, moving our wanderer from, say, an autonomous ride-hailing service, to high-speed rail, to the local subway, and then to her destination, all without friction or inefficiency. Of course, this smooth-running world is still far in the future, but like the interconnected, interoperable internet the SIM system resembles, bringing it about will require planning decades in advance.